What is up, everybody? Jonathan from Enigma Photos. And Adobe has been doing some really cool stuff recently. I've always been an Adobe user. Um, but, like, they've done a couple things in the last two updates that have been really life-changing for me. The first one was in 7.2. Uh, I do a lot of time-lapse work, as you know. There's some portrait work and a few other things here. But mainly time-lapse work recently. And I use a really cool program called LR Time Lapse. Well, how it works is, let's say I take 300 images. Um, I go ahead and load those into LR Time Lapse, and I will get keyframes. So if it's a day to night, it might be five keyframes, um, which will be, means images that are selected equidistant, which allows me to grade them that way. So if it's from day to night, I don't want to have the same adjustments during the day as I do at night because things changes, um, white balance changes, a lot of things change. So <clears throat> I use Lightroom a lot. And with this program, after I'm done making the adjust adjustments and it goes back into that program, it will render out all the changes and I have to come back into Lightroom. And once I'm there, then I have to export all those images. So then LR time lapse can make them into a movie file for me. The problem was, before 7.2, that process took forever. And it was awful. Like, it would take, for 300 images, it might take it an hour to export them out, which is just not acceptable. But it was something that I had to deal with. What made it even worse is that my Mac is not that old. And I built a custom PC for doing HDR and video work and everything like that. It's, it's a powerhouse. And the sad thing was, on both systems, I timed them. They would do it in exactly the same time. Even though the specs on the PC are ridiculous, it would take the same amount of time. So with the 7.2 update, they redid the whole export system. And it's night and day. Even on the Mac, it's super fast now. It takes like 15 minutes when it used to take maybe close to an hour. And on the PC, it's even faster. So that was great. That made my life because the only boggle down in time was Lightroom. So they fixed that. Now yesterday they introduced 7.3 and there's a lot of people know about it, a lot of people don't, but there were different color profiles and you could select it, but you were generally getting standard. Um, but there's one for portraits, there's one for landscape, and a lot of people didn't know about them. So what they did with 7.3 is they revamped that whole system, and they kind of put it on the forefront. So if you look up here, you can see file profile, and then Adobe Color, and then there they are. So if you click that way, then you can see that it does a different color profile for your image. The cool thing, too, with these is that this can be something you use before, so when you're importing your images in, you can apply this to it, or you can do what I'm doing now, which is a laser wrap, and I've already worked on my image, and then I'm seeing if it enhances it or makes it look a little bit better. So what they did was they put in this cool drop-down window. So you can click over here, and you can see the different profiles. So that's pretty neat. And as you can see, I already have some open. You're already going to have some favorites, which you can add to. But they have different ones. So the, the base profiles that they used to have are under Adobe Raw. But then if you go under camera matching, you've got even more profiles that you can pick. So we've got clear, we've got deep, you've got landscape. And they all bring something different to your images. If you go under Profiles, then you will find a bunch of really cool ones. And if you look over here when I'm selecting them, there's a star. If you click that star, you'll see Favorites just went from 6 to 7. That just means that I added that to my Favorites. So if you need to go back and find something quickly that you favorited, it's under your Favorites. So that's pretty cool. So back to Profiles, you have a bunch of different types of film emulations, which is really, really, really super neat. And it looks really, really, really nice. So there's a bunch of new things that they added as, as far as being able to change your pictures, make them look good, make them look awesome. So it'll take you a little while to play around with them and see which ones you like. So that's pretty neat. 
The other thing that I noticed as well is D. Hayes has moved from a separate section way back down here where it was really hard to find to actually right under Clarity, which is a good spot for it. Now, D. Hayes is something like I have a buddy that used to use it on his portraits and I wanted to wring his neck because it caused it to look like he HDR'd a human face, which never looks good. I don't know why he thought that looked good, but I kind of helped him out of that problem. It's kind of like a friend with an addiction. I'm going to HDR everything, even humans. It looks so good, but it doesn't. So luckily, he's been in a 12-step program, and I think he's okay. But back to D. Hayes. D. Hayes is really good if there's like a sunset or sunrise, and you've got kind of like that hazy look, and you want to sharpen it up a little bit, get more detail back in. Well, that's what D. Hayes is for, and it's great under there. So, again, I've only got to play with this for like the last hour or two. And unfortunately, I'm going to Germany. Not unfortunately. Unfortunately, because I can't play with more because I don't have the time. But fortunately, I'll be going to Germany in a couple days. And I will be getting a bunch of new pictures. And I get excited about things like this. Geeked out a little bit because it's like, oh, I'm going to take all these really cool pictures. And then I have this brand new program to mess around with so that'll be a lot of fun so and i'll make sure i'll take some videos and stuff like that or not make some videos i'll take videos but that's a whole different kind of thing but i will take pictures um panoramics uh we'll do some time lapses and everything like that and i'll do some more videos just showing how i go from start to finish so that'll be a lot of fun so i go i hope you guys have a great weekend and i will talk to you soon